I do care what you do with this information because it is important to our survival as a species. It's important to our planet. It is important for the world. Attacks were unleashed on Christians by radical groups in India. Pastors Ajit and Ramesh were returning after baptizing seven believers. They were waylaid by a mob consisting of 65 RSS extremists. They paraded them through the marketplace and the roads. They took turns in severely beating them. The radicals had no mercy on them, for they beat them in front of the onlooking people, but no one helped. The radicals lodged a false complaint against them. They started simply beating us. As soon as they brought me out, they removed my shirt and my banyan. All that I could save from my house is the pants which I was wearing. Even that they wanted to remove, but I was holding on. They started assaulting the sister. Then I objected that. So I was beaten with an iron rod here, and I still cannot raise my hand fully. And they simply started beating both of us, and sister was in their hands, and they took me out. And when I was out, one was holding on my hands, and another one poured kerosene all over me, and was taking a matchbox. And then they brought out the sister. And they were searching for a rope to tie both of us together. Took my neck with his left hand and thought we will throw you out of the train and push me towards the body. With the right hand he started to punch. Then he was beating my chest and his ear and my jaw. Jaw was jabbed and my right hand. Then he was keep on till we will throw you out of the train. Then I understood they planned to murder me. You are watching pastors Anil, John and Josmore being beaten and abused by radical Hindus. On 25th of November, 8.30 a.m., while they held Sunday worship, the Hindu radicals forcefully entered the house and attacked them. They were also beaten up and questioned right in the presence of the police. Police charged into Christian campuses in Mangalore, Karnataka. They barged into the churches and started to beat believers with sticks. Women were forced out of the church and police hammered young men with heavy blows. They even used guns and armored vehicles. They tried to break the windows of the churches. Here's a policeman using a tear gas bomb. It all started when Hindu radicals unleashed a row of attacks against Christians starting from 14 September 2008. Even though the police were summoned, they never protected or turned up. A few angry youth protested against the police. That angered the police and they barged into churches and started to attack young, old men and women mercilessly. The police even barged into Christian educational institutions and they had no mercy even on the women and children. What crime has a child committed? Where is the welfare of the innocent? 
Pastor Walter Massey's house was barged into by 25 youngsters who beat him with sticks. They beat him mercilessly till blood gushed out in the presence of his wife and daughter. The pastor kept lifting the name of Jesus even though he knew his life could be at stake.